Okay, let's talk about PC12, PC2 ping. Initially, when PC1, when we type ping space 10 dot, sorry, 20.00 10. First thing is that my PC1 do not know whether the destination IP is in same network or different network. I'm not sure about that. First thing, PC1 has to find out whether my destination IP, which is 20.00.10, is it in same network or different network. But to find out that what PC1 will do, PC1 will do and between its own IP and its own subnet mask and destination IP and its own subnet mask. See, this SM mask is PC1's SM mask. It is not this guy's subnet mask because PC1, no way it will know about destination IP, subnet mask and all. After doing AND, it will find out the answer is what? 10.0.0.0. Here, 20.0.0.0. Is it same or different? Different. In that case, PC1 will understand that destination IP is not in the same network. So whenever destination IP is not in the same network, it has to send the packet to my default gateway. If it is in the same network, imagine that I have one more PC here, 10.0011. Do you guys think for sending a packet to 10.0011, PC has to send a packet to a router R1? No, right? I don't want to send it. So that's how it works. If, if the network, what I find out is same, in that case, I'll locally switch it. If it is not same, in that case, my PC1 will send the packet to my default gateway router interface, 10.001. This is the first process to find out whether destination IP is in the same network or different network. Finished. Uh, secondly, now it knows that for reaching that guy, I have to send the packet to 10.001. Now, 10.001 is in the same LAN network, right? It's in the same LAN network. To send a packet to 10.001, I have to find out the MAC address of 10.001. So I know the IP address, but I do not know the MAC address. For this, I have to use a protocol called ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. Using ARP, my PC1 will try to find out the MAC address of this particular interface, maybe BB, this guy is CC. Here BB, yeah. maybe XX and YY. So PC1 will generate an ARP request. So in that ARP request, what is the content? So ARP request will have sender IP 10.0010, target IP 10.001, sender MAC, my MAC, target MAC, all zeros. It won't be F. An ARP is a broadcast packet on the ARP header, source MAC will be my MAC and destination MAC will be broadcast address. I'm talking about the ARP header. Inside ARP, this is the content, source IP, destination IP, sorry, source IP, target IP, source MAC and target MAC. Now with this content, my ARP request will go all the way to R1. Now R1 sees that that packet is for me because target IP is my own IP. It will reply back. When it replies back with ARP reply, on the ARP header, what is source MAC? XX, destination MAC, AA. This is on top of the ARP header. Inside the ARP packet, what is my sender IP? 10.0. 001. He's replying back, right? Target IP 10.0010. Sender MAC XX. Target MAC AA. Now, ultimately, for this IP, this MAC address, it received. Ultimately, PC1 will come to know about the MAC address of that guy. Now, ARP request and reply is done. 
second process okay find whether whether pardon me whether destination ip is in same network or not first process second process our request third will get our reply the process done now i got the mac address of r ones fa this interface actually now what i will do i will generate a icmp echo request packet now icmp echo request packet will go from year to year right oh yeah before that happens what happens in switch switch also learns the mac address right so when the initially our request packet went switch this port learned the mac address of aa when reply came switch this port learned mac address of xx this guy so ultimately switch one mac address table also completed right now icmp echo request getting created now in icmp echo request what is my source ip Ten dot zero dot zero dot ten. Initially, to whom I want to ping? I want to ping this guy, right? Destination IP will be what? What is my source MAC? Destination MAC is going to be XX because I want to write XX here. That's why. we initially sent our request to play and all all that drama happened because i want to find out the mac address so i'll send this packet all the way to router r1 r1 receives it r1 for example i am r1 so before processing the packet first i will check whether destination mac address is it my interface mac address or not here in our <clears throat> in this case you can see that xx is my interface mac address So in that case, what we will do, we will say that yeah, it's for me only. Let me open the cover. Let's see what is inside that stuff. Uh, this why why. So R one will open or de encapsulate, decapsulate the packet. Will remove the uh, layer two information, nothing but the MAC address information. Under that, we'll see the IP packet. So under IP packet, it says source IP is ten dot zero zero ten, destination IP is twenty dot zero zero ten. it will find out that this this is an ip packet and it has to be sent to 20 network as i told you guys before router routers always use route packet to a network not to a specific device only switch can do that function switch is used or mac address is used to send a packet to a specific location a specific pc ip address is always used to throw the packet in that network using ip address a packet never goes inside a particular device just to find out on which street this device is lying so now in routing table of r1 what i'll be saying now he had to check routing table to check whether i can reach routing network or not so in routing table if i check show ip route on r1 it will say connected c um c Then it will say ten dot zero 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 slash eight interface fa zero slash zero. Maybe this is this interface is fa zero slash zero. Again, see one more entry twenty dot zero 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 slash eight fa zero slash one. Okay, this will be the IP routing table entry on R one. Now R one knows that to send the packet to twenty network, I have to send it via fa zero slash one. okay now before sending the packet my router r1 will see whether i have the arp information of this guy or not as of now i don't have so what he will do he will send an arp request same thing happens again arp request reply in arp request source ip will be my ip 
Sender IP will be my IP. Target IP will be this guy's IP. Sender MAC address YY. Target MAC address will be 00. zero. And it is sourced from YY to this guy. Broadcast. I'll get reply. Now imagine that your R got fulfilled. Now what I will do? I'll directly send this packet to him. ICMP request going all the way here. Now PC2 receives the ICMP request. So when in this position, in this link, when the packet comes right, ICMP uh, echo request packet, the contents are a little bit changed. So in this position, on that ICMP packet, source IP will be same IP, 10.0010. Destination IP will be 20.0010. Source MAC will be what? YY. Destination MAC will be BB. Okay, the content is not same here. Here it was different. Here, the source MAC was AA and destination MAC was XX. So as you can see, whenever you are sending a packet from one to other network, your source IP destination IP will be same, whereas your source MAC with destination MAC will keep on changing every hop. Okay, so under this explanation, the ARP will come into picture, ICMP echo request, reply will come into picture, uh, finding whether my destination network is in same network or not, that also comes here. Also switch MAC address learning, the show MAC address table command is there now, that MAC address learning also comes here. Okay, so all this